All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My call sign is November 9. We are in Chapter 2, Darkwater Port of Call of Cthulhu. Pierce, that's us, took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label and address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. Join me as we enter madness. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah. A sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Let me affect my best Boston accent. We're here in Dockwater Harbor. And there appears to be the killer whale from our dreams. Let's go over and investigate that. It appears to have a large group of sailors very upset. We'll break everything. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. 
The fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what- The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. They seem to be very agitated about a dead animal. <laughs> You're telling me. These fools think that putting the whale back in the water will bring about the end of the world. <laughs> They're superstitious. If only you knew. They only listen to Captain Fitzroy. And not always. And you. What brings you to our island? I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. <laughs> I like you, so I'll be frank with you. Don't go near the place. Don't try to get in. Why? Because I told you so. Learn to accept some friendly advice. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Alright, so if I'm remembering the dream sequence in the beginning, that is an offering. So, would putting it back in the water, if that's where these ancient creatures live, is that an offering if we put it back in the water? Or leaving it here on land where presumably they don't really go, is that an offering? Very unusual. And these appear to be ribs of whales? Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. Well, we That's can't no get to the warehouse because we're blocked by these oh, sailors, yeah. so we can either go to the bar. Oh, there's two guys, some guys down here. We could go see what these guys are doing. Captain told you not to stick your noses around here again. This isn't your home, you bunch of sand crabs. We there's go nothing for you here either. Hey, you'll get we're already in trouble. Mm. Uh, can we sort this out? You can see he's half drunk. There's nothing to sort out. Your chum wanted to stir us up. <laughs> but you can stay to watch if you want. You can pick up the pieces. Come on, you bastard. You'll see what a true sailor's got in his belly. You hear that? You filth rats don't scare me. What did he call us just now? I said you were a bilge rat. Even a... A fox limpet. You think we don't know what you're doing? Hidden in the fog? I'll shut up your big mouth once and for all. Optimistic. Are you stupid or what? Even your captain told you not to stick your noses around here again. This isn't your home. All right, so that conversation is apparently just going to replay itself over and over again. So the bilge refers to the area in the bottom of a ship, a wooden ship, presumably in this case, that gathers all the seawater that leaked in and everything. It's generally pretty nasty. So calling somebody a bilge rat back in these times would have been a pretty good insult. A limpet, I believe, is some type of like... A crustacean that attaches itself to the hull of a ship and usually they got to be scraped out there's also limpet mines um, a different reference for that word where when your ship sails by they attach themselves to the hull of your ship and then explode so a poxed limpet will be a diseased one of those things the guy down there is fishing Lighthouse, hard at work. I really like lighthouses. They're cool. All right, let's go in the bar. Prohibition. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Well, got a couple bottles of booze. Is that a buoy? Some harpoons, maybe? So these are some more buoys. 
these uh, old timey buoys you see all over the place in New England. That guy apparently, but these people don't have anything to say. Open the window. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Um, well, you're gonna serve the guy who just spit at my feet? That's very disrespectful. That guy was looking for trouble. So choose your camp if you don't want the same treatment. Hey, buddy, I don't want any trouble. So serve me a drink. Just to make things clear. Only regulars can run up and tab. Others pay. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? She would probably know it, because she was the woman with that cigarette holder. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then. I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her vision? Was it so terrible? way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Well, you know, there's that famous Latin saying in Vino Veritas, so yes. I've got what I need. Anything else? That'll be all for now. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. Let's see if the bartender is willing to divulge a little bit more info about Charles. You again. What can I get you? Charles Hawkins owed you a lot of money. Do you know if he had problems? I don't know the details, and it's not my business. Money or not, he was always welcome in my bar. The Hawkins family was always much appreciated on the island. 
That'll be all for now. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. So this news bill is called the Chanty. At the time of this game, it's 53 plus 24, 77 years old. The miraculous catch, the Scylla returns to port to save dark water from famine. So, sidebar, Scylla in Greek mythology was a beautiful nymph uh, on one side of a very narrow passage that ships had to go through. And on the other side of the passage was a sea monster named Charybdis. Um, however, on Scylla's side, there was a giant rock that she sat on and so either the sailors were lured towards her for her beauty and crashed into the rock or they went too far on the other side and um, got gotten by the sea monster Charybdis. So think of it as uh, caught between a rock and a hard place during uh, ancient Greece. That's Scylla and Charybdis. Uh, the Scylla returns to port to save dark water from famine. We have given up hope. The crew of the Scylla, or what remains of it, returned to dark water port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of the formidable toothed whales, the cetacean that is already being called the miraculous catch covered the whole dock and parts of it were hanging over the side of the ship. Covered the whole deck, sorry. These surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also of its meat, unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious benefits. There is no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine from which part of the island was suffering, probably the poor parts. So perhaps the same Scylla is a little bit more meaningful in this instance, that you think you're getting saved, but maybe with that saving the special meat of the miraculous catch is really bringing with it a curse, a curse of madness upon this remote, long forgotten New England island. Down at the bottom of this news bill, warehouse for rent. Mr. Marx is putting his warehouse up for rent from June for fishing, workshop, or storage activities. You can contact him via your favorite newspaper or visit him on the docks. Perhaps that warehouse was Warehouse 36. Special evening at the Stranded Whale to celebrate the return of our brave whalers. All the staff of the Stranded Whale invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family or with friends to taste the miraculous catch. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. So in the whaling times, whale oil was extremely valuable for its wide and varied uses, just as the same as regular petroleum has today. Um, it was used as a fuel in lamps on the East Coast, as well as myriad other uses. I've never smelled whale oil nor tasted whale meat. I honestly thought they just ate the blubber but what do I know? But maybe this, having as many people drawn to taste the miraculous catch was a way for this ancient gods to get their proverbial hooks into these families and affect their minds. One only knows. In the doctor, what do these taste? 
Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. All right, I want to hear what these asylum staff people are saying, because this might be a clue later on. Oh, they're watching me, watching them. Well, maybe I should just meander over here. So you keep talking. Don't look at me, keep talking. Great, now they're not going to talk. You have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? He left. My God. So I guess some people will carry on their conversation when you are not looking at them. Good to know. All right, so that's something to keep in mind. A doctor named Colden at the asylum might be someone we need to remember. So here's some sailors. Getting a drink on. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last. The biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Uh, where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night. Stranger. So long. So those are some grizzled old salts. Well, I suppose we've been putting this off for a little too long. Let's uh, see what this woman has to say. What you looking at, stranger? I'm just passing by, sorry. Let me drink, stranger. Well, yach. All right, so that's everything in the bar. We found that Charles Hawkins is a drunk and he can't pay his debts. We found that there are harpoons all over the walls. A doctor at the mental ward the sailors are very defensive about the great catch, and that may have been the last whale ever landed on Darkwater Island. And are these the ribs that we see sticking up in the air of the miraculous catch? Who knows? All right. And that lady is very, very rude. And I'm removing her as we speak from my Christmas card list. All right, let's go in here and talk to the harbor master. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. So it's only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 
1907 and a partial date, which they don't even give us any data on. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Well, perhaps uh, someone who didn't want us to find out what was on them. All right, he left, so what better time to ransack the joint? Let's see what other info may be hiding here. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. The letter says, Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. So, Cat, perhaps the woman in the bar is extorting the captain for protection money? usually how these extortion rackets work. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. So I find it very funny that the Maritime Bank uh, sponsored the whale board. Uh, that looks like it's a sperm whale up there, and they presumably would mark down the number they had caught. And this one, you can't really make out. Maybe it is what's called a right whale, R-I-G-H-T. Named that because it was the right whale to catch, apparently, because it was rather easy to catch and plentiful in the valuable parts of the whale that they needed. A Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Presume we will find out why at some point. All right, another two percentage points to medicine. She sells seashells by the seashore. You just got to say that uh, ten times fast. All right. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. In this photograph, a man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. Oh, looky here. It's a baseball bat. What a macabre souvenir. It is perhaps the wooden leg from that photograph. Hmm. Some flags and some more flags and some more flags and a harpoon and another harpoon and apparently a lot of incense or really crappy candles and a lantern. And a bunch of junk. Let's face it, this place is kind of a pigsty. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. All right, so I've been neglecting to mention this, but um, these icons um, refer to various things. So the lock unlocked means we unlock that through investigation, I think. This represents our investigation skill when we were in the bar and um, we said the guy didn't respect us, it had a fist. That's our strength attribute. So our various attributes can give us different um, conversational opportunities 
here in the conversation wheel. So depending on how you choose your skills and rank them up, in theory you could have possibilities all over the wheel here. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. Uh, maybe whaling ended but all maritime activities ended more than 25 years ago? I find that hard to believe. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. I was looking at your photograph. One of the men in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other? You're talking about mythology. Ha, <laughs> indeed you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. All right, so let's take a minute and consult our diary. As you can see, our goal currently is to get inside Warehouse 36. Going to our character, we have two available character points. 
Now we can't put any points into occultism. It can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. So perhaps that would have been valuable to know in the beginning. Maybe it was available to know and I just forgot. I don't know. All right, so psychology, human behavior, spot hidden. So we can level this up to three and I'm gonna validate that. So our spot hidden is now at a professional level. Our investigation is at an expert level. Eloquence, strength, psychology. So I'm gonna put most of my next points into investigation and try and max that out. Although eloquence is also very tempting to see if we can get more verbal um, conversational stuff. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Taking a look at our sanity nightmares. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War where he took part in the Meuse-Argonne Offensive. He is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion. American units that suffered heavy losses from the enemy and allied artillery fire. Forced to hold their position for several days surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades without food or medical supplies. The soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumed sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. Again, if you are not familiar with the story of the Lost Battalion, definitely worth reading. Our sanity level, I guess that's what this is, is stable. Confident in your abilities and your Cartesian mind, you conduct your investigation by sticking to the facts, your convictions, and your perception of reality. Your conclusions are logical and stable, or reliable. And I guess that could change as our uh, mental state changes. So for this video, Cartesian, this is a great definition. Thanks, Internet. Relating to Descartes and his idea, or a follower of Descartes. So obviously, uh, people have been asking this question. Oh my God. Uh, the essence of mind is of self-conscious thinking. The essence of matter is extension of three dimensions. God is third infinite substance whose essence is necessary existence. The first part of that, uh, first part of that definition was just more word salad. All right, so I think we have a vague understanding of what someone else wants us to believe Cartesian thinking uh, is or involves. Looking at dark water, Stephen Webster, age 63, businessman. Yes, yes, we know about that. He's desperate, and we're the private investigator of desperate men. Charles Hawkins, he's dead. Sarah Hawkins, she's dead. Their kid, he's dead too. Roy Mitchell, loves stocking caps and does not love violence. James Fitzroy, the captain of the Charybdis. Look at that. So his dad's ship was named the Scylla. His ship was named the Charybdis. So he Perhaps he is a monster. All right, uh, taking a look, oops, at places. Pierce Investigation Agency, Island of Darkwater, Darkwater Port, The Stranded Whale. A bar where liquor is served with total impunity. Love it. A cult, there is her last work. And the Miraculous Catch is also considered a cult. Interesting. Taking a look at the clues, the article is also a clue. Manifests. The 
threatening letter and the photograph of Captain Fitzroy, the elder with one leg. Blah, 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 the file which had no information at all in it really, except for the address of the warehouse. Inventory, a famous brand flip lighter engraved with the words Lost Battalion and the date. It looks like 10, 7, 18. Or it's a really poor engraving. And our inventory. Two medical books, volume one, volume two. I guess that means we haven't missed one. Uh, a case file and the Atlas of the Atlantic Islands. Well, who's to know exactly what that is? All right, so let's see uh, if we can get into the warehouse. You're not sailors. You didn't go down to the harbor and park your car. Hello. Where do you think you're going? I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor, leave him well alone. All right. So we're not getting in, a distraught caretaker. Look like some salty dudes down there. Let's see if these guys have anything to say. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows St. Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. And what happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. <laughs> Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us, until those assholes defaced him. Isn't that a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. 
So we drink. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. And here I was hoping I could provoke those two guys to uh, go fight with those other two dudes down the end of the dock there. I guess I can't talk to that guy. Let's see if we can go look at the statue. And not fall in at the same time. Hmm. Oh my. There. What's here? Hello, old friend. Well, just walk around, find a bottle of booze. Maybe those guys are guarding the wrong building. So what happened to St. Brendan? Maybe they spray painted him? St. Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Hmm. Someone wrote on St. Brendan. Not very cool. Maybe now that we know where the booze is hidden, we can go provoke these guys into fighting the other guys. Well, well, look who's back. Did you miss us? <laughs> I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Hmm. That sucks. I was hoping I could give them the booze and they come down here and fight these guys. No idea. You better keep it shut. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh, yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. Well... I think they gave us an opening there. Why don't we go back to the bar and turn over this bottle of booze to Cat and see if we can pin it on these two guys and get them whacked. Or at the very least, ingratiate ourselves with the local crime boss. This is a really crappy thing to do, which is why I love it. What? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post? It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We return right after. Just that standing guard in this alley makes your throat dry. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. I told you to beat it. Well, never mind then. All right. So let's see what other way we can find into the warehouse. You 
You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, knows around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I shall take my leave. All right, so it looks we got, looks like we got an avenue to go back to talk to Captain Fitzroy. I don't think uh, anyone will mind. You're back again. What can I do for you? Apparently, the bootleggers don't want anyone hanging around the warehouses. They're part of the private property I mentioned earlier. And yet the place looks abandoned. Why guard the entrance? As a precaution, I suppose. All the warehouses are more or less interconnected by old sewers. You mean that there's a way to go from one to the other by tunnel? I couldn't tell you if it's still the case today for all the warehouses on the island, but I think I can imagine what you've got in mind. You can always visit them if you're not the claustrophobic type. All right, so he's basically saying underground sewers connect the warehouses together. We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. I told him that flunky that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that, Everyone will see what you've got in your belly. Well, I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? I'm not scared of some girl. I mean they're going to cut you open, you idiot. Calm down. Well. All right. So we're headed back this way. Looks like the coast is clear. Can't go that way because the car's in the way. Well, looky here. A great pulley, maybe a winch of some sort. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. But it's been completely taken to bits. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. All right, so I need some spare parts for the winch. Let's look around. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the I think our spot hidden allowed us to see that one. All right, here's a maybe. whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Should be in a museum. All right, so the indicator on the lower left-hand corner of the screen, I think, means there are still clues left to find. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. And it's still flashing. This handle will be perfect for the winch. All right, so apparently we found all the missing parts to the winch. Wheel, ratchet device, handle. Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. Shazam! 
Needs a little roofing work. All right, so we have found an alternative way, I guess. <laughs> Him? <laughs> this looks really delightful. <coughs> oil. I hope it's not toxic. <laughs> so apparently we've got a big lung full of whatever that substance is burning in the pot. twinge of my controller there. Ah! I can't do anything. I'm fighting. Honest, I'm fighting. I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting. <laughs> Seaweed. Maybe that oil had hallucinogenic qualities to it. just come from here Oh, there's some cave drawings. This is primitive. Looks like a bunch of guys in canoes or primitive boats. And a green swirly thing. What is that? All right, I'll admit, I have no idea what that was supposed to be all about. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? To enter reconstruction scene, hold left trigger and right trigger. Clue number one. What happened here? Someone punched the mirror. They perhaps did not like what they saw as they're reflected back at them. So in anger, they smashed the mirror. Perhaps they were disfigured. There's a lot of blood and some bandages there. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Someone disfigured, maybe, who used to be wealthy. I'm sorry, you know this stuff just stinks. It smells as bad as it looks. Amen to that. Is somebody eating that? And that's terrifying from a food standpoint. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. 
Sleeping pills, painkillers, potent combination. Le Petit Peri. Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? That painting looks like the Phantom of the Opera or something like that. All right, so it looks like we found the clues. And we got two character points. So eloquence or psychology or investigation. Perhaps of eloquence. All right, so I think we found everything worth finding. Uh, someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You, don't move. You again. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Wound up? You mean messed up? No. We don't take no lessons from the likes of you. We do our job carefully and fairly. No stone was left unturned. Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. And thus endeth chapter two, the docks of Darkwater Harbor. My call sign is November 9. I really appreciate you watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and leave a comment below. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. I will be happy to bring you the rest of this game chapter by chapter. But for now, we end chapter two. Take care, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.